Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm Da Vinci Jeremy. I'm here in Dubai, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the news that you can use. And I'm going to probably rant a little bit about the, all the different news articles that are going to be going out. Uh, I'm doing this video uh, live in front of a bunch of people who are watching it right now, and a lot of them are watching it on YouTube, right? And if you want to watch it on YouTube, you can head over to davinciJ15.com and subscribe. And it's really cheap right now since Bitcoin has just took a bath. <laughs> since the prices haven't changed, right? You're getting a discount priced in dollars, right? So hook up on that. Uh, yeah, I'm also blowing up on uh, multiple, uh, uh, what's it called, platforms, social media platforms. And I want to show you guys that uh, just in case you didn't watch the previous episode. And uh, we're blowing up on, on uh, what's it called, Instagram. You can find me at DaVinciJ15 on Instagram and also on Twitter. So make sure you subscribe to Twitter as well. I'm almost, uh, I, if you head over to Twitter, it's kind of freaky. I'm almost at 200,000 subs on Twitter. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let me just click on there and hit Twitter. There we go. You can see. I'm at two, almost a 200,000 subscribers. So let's uh, try to push me over there. There's, if you haven't subscribed over here, it's uh, lots of fun. We have a lot of fun here. Uh, getting a lot, I'm, uh, we're getting a lot of engagement, like 5K here, to, right? Um, not, not that one, but you know, it's 2K here, right? So you can see the engagement, it's like 8K. And so depending on each, uh, how much, what I tweet, I can get quite a bit of um, a like, so yeah, join me on here and uh, let's have some fun. Okay, uh, also, hey, uh, remember, right, um, take a look at this, we found this just recently, right, a little bit of uh, uh, information on each of my social medias, right, I'm blowing up on uh, this Hype Auditor, wow, crazy, right, showing you how many people, are, how much I'm increasing, and yeah, you can see it is... Uh, doing very very well um awesome awesome i guess i could unlock this for free but i'll do that later after uh, after i play so let's let's start off with the crypto bubbles before we uh head into the news um you can see the whole altcoin market is pretty much in the red there's a few outliers of course but but shiba i gotta fill on my shiba Rapidly, I knew I was gonna get a fill, and yeah, so there it is. Um, Shiba is uh, is down in dumps with everybody else. But we talked about it in the earlier show. Things might things are are looking good for us so far. It's just you know, it's just not moving down. That's all. This uh, um, dominance. So if it does go down to the thirty five percent, we should have a short term uh, altcoin rally. Um, that, that uh, will be pretty decent. So make sure you're positioned for that. And if you're not positioned for that, um, yeah, join us, right, at uh, davinciJ15.com. You can see what I'm buying and what I'm buying, and so you can get in front of me if you want. Um, and because, yeah, everybody got in front of me. Every time I do a live show, a show that shows that's on the, on the main channel, because I just get front run to death. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry, I, I, I make a lot of money anyway, so uh, no problems. So front money me all you want. Okay. China bid for digital yuan spare, uh, sphere raises red flag at G7. Okay, well, you know, everybody's scared of China, right? Digital yuan, uh, you know, because uh, it is a lot. When you think about it, right, when you pay with um, USDT, Life is so much easier, right? Um, things move a lot smoother, right? Uh, right. You don't have to worry about whether the bank's going to, um, to uh, you know, deny it or something like that. And it works just like cash. Unfortunately, I'm sure this digital yuan does not. So you'll know that uh, eventually, right? You're going to hear stories. Well, actually, it's going to be, you know, rumors because, you know, governments don't cheat or lie and steal. So it's just going to be a rumor. Uh, that you know these people people are being uh, denied services and locked off of their money uh, because they bought something that the government didn't like so 
Yeah. Um, but for most people out there, that's never going to happen. <laughs> oh boy. That's so sad. It's so true though, right? I bet you, I, I, I can bet that 90% of the population, right? Uh, not, maybe not all of my, uh, my subscribers, but 90% think that, oh no, the government wouldn't do that. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, Bitcoin op, uh, Optech, um, number one, number 151 transaction selection. Now this sounds scary. This sounds really scary, right? Uh, Bitcoin Optech News provides readers with, okay. Uh, this week in the newsletter described the proposal of the Bitcoin a core transaction selection algorithm for minor block uh, template to slightly increase the pro minor pro 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 profitability and give a fee bump to bumping users to more a collective collective at leverage. Um, also include uh, included our uh, our regular sections described for software releases and release candidates, plus notable changes to the popular Bitcoin infrastructure. Now, um, key things I want you guys to know, right? Bitcoin consensus rules uh, enforce that no transaction can be included in the block unless all of the unconfirmed ancestors are also included in the earlier 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 in the same block. Okay, that's a little bit confusing, right? Um, because it's, it, you don't understand what the Merkle tree is and how that works and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, but what it's basically trying to, to do, right, is that if I send you a transaction for um, one Bitcoin and I, and I have, I put in a fee of, I don't know, a dollar, and the average fee is ten dollars at the time, right? You don't want to wait, and you have the trend, you have that transaction of one bitcoin, so you don't want to wait. So you, what you can do is spend it that one bitcoin, even though you have it has it confirmed, and then you could put in the fee of nineteen dollars, right? Um, and then those two transactions, because they're two separate transactions that are linked together, right? by the first one being my transaction the second one being yours to to increase the fee to pay yourself or pay somebody else um those transactions have, haven't been confirmed yet now once a miner goes and puts them in the block what tends to happen is uh in the merkle tree they could actually flip those so that could be um uh the the, the transaction with 19 dollars right he grabs that right but then realizes he's got to grab the other one puts it into the Merkle tree, and then he realizes he has to grab the other one and puts it at the bottom of the Merkle tree. That's legal. It just, it makes it processing process, the processing time a little bit more um, uh, slower. And on the top of that, right, um, the Bitcoin mine, the Bitcoin um, system, right, when it calculates fees over, over, um, over time, because the, um, the, the top of the block, the coins at the top of the block, uh, the, 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 sorry, the, um, the, the Merkle tree, they get heavily really weighted over the ones that are lower. And so um, it would seem that people want to buy, spend more um, uh, on, on a Bitcoin fee. So what they tend to now, what they want to do is like put, or put that in order. This allows for Bitcoin cores, uh, uh, core to fairly compare pair all transactions in a mempool based on their effective feature, fe fee rate, whether or not the transactions have any uh, ancestors. And that's a very important so that our fees uh, will be a lot lower um, um, if they implement that. Now, it's all implemented on the miner side. The miners can decide to implement it or not implement it. So it's not any kind of major change that would make you go, whoa, whoa, no, no, right? Um, and all, all the systems would run perfectly fine with this change just uh they just run better that's all <laughs> current ones that are haven't been upgraded so it's not a big deal uh china's twitter we Weibo bans large number of crypto accounts Oof. you know i know that this is coming to to the rest of the crypto world so expect me to get banned expect chris and everybody else to get banned it's coming 
Um, and you're thinking, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Uh, yes, it is. Because if you have the ability, to, let's pretend you have the ability to print money. And you can print as much money as you want, right? Are you going to do something if somebody tries to take that away? <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, yeah, you, you can see that coming down the pipes. And the thing is, right, corporations benefit from our current financial system more so than, you know, the, just as much as the, uh, the, the central banks, right? Not more so than banks, but just as much. Why is that? Well, because they get to print money for free to buy up assets. Also, they also get to increase the prices of, uh, of their things that sell a lot faster than they increase your the, the number one cost of a corporation. And what is that? Labor. So if the labor costs are, um, are actually effectively going down without them actually to have to um, lower people's prices, lower wages, right? Um, sorry, lower wages. So that means um, they uh, they benefit. So it doesn't it, it doesn't make sense for a corporation to to effectively um, support this in in, um, in uh, unless you're doing it for humanitarian reasons. Of course, then that's fine. Um, but uh, but yeah, other than that. Um, yeah, it's not uh, not a good idea. Well, of course, there is a, the fact that you know they want to protect their, their profits from evaporating as well. So <laughs> yeah, they they they're in a catch twenty two, right? So they have to if they support it by buying it, right? Um, they're supporting a system that will um, prevent them from um, from uh, gaining reaping huge rewards through the inflationary system. At the same time, if they don't they'll lose money so um yeah uh so they will be incentivized to help the banking system ban us all over time and so expect it okay microstrategy announced the proposal of private offering of 400 million to senior secure uh, of senior secured notes yeah he's just boring some more he's printing more money so they can buy bitcoins and, and you know i have a tweet right which was um which was a response to um uh, what's his name uh, peter stiff right <laughs> and uh, basically here where is it where is it he was saying oh man there it is there it is he was saying right in, in an effort to keep the price of bitcoin and his company's balance sheet propped up Michael Saylor announced that MicroStrategies will borrow another $400 billion million to buy more Bitcoin. The board of directors needs to stop a crazy sailor from throwing good money after bad, good money after bad Bitcoin. Okay, okay, so, so that assumes that dollars is good money. But I said, actually, Michael Saylor is throwing bad money after good. You should read, you should learn about Grisham's Law. Right, no Bitcoin for you. This is the soup Nazi right? <laughs> from from uh, Seinfeld. If you don't know, check it out. That's a funny, funny episode. One of the funniest episodes out there. Um, if you Google Grisham's Law, right, and I spelt it wrong, of course, but whatever. Um, you learn that uh, bad money drives out good money, right? That's why I said no Bitcoin for you because effectively, right. Everybody can like print. Everyone who's wealthy can print money for free and buy Bitcoin until the point where there's absolutely nothing left, right? And so, if nobody's selling, right? But there'll always be sellers. It's just a matter of price, right? Um, and and in some cases there is no price, right? For Michael Saylor, there is no price, and and some people like me and a few others who are smart enough. There will be no price, right, for us to sell the Bitcoin uh, per, for. We'll just borrow against it because you guys, uh, you you have, we have access to a printing press, right? So why would you spend something that, you know, doesn't have unlimited supply, right? Don't make no sense. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, that's coming, right? No, no Bitcoin for you. That's coming. 
They won't, they will not, you'll be able to buy probably derivative Bitcoin. So of course, that will always be here. You'll always be able to buy some derivative. But just like the fact that, like, you know, silver, um, when silver goes into, uh, whenever we had like a silver shortage, uh, or the, the some people try to attack silver, right? Um, what happens is you can't buy it, right? Uh, but you can buy lots of paper silver, all kinds. All right, well, JP Morgan uh, crypt, Crypto Group is looking for 34 Bitcoin and Ethereum specialists. Well, you know what? They they have to, they have to like, join us eventually, right? Because uh, I think even though it's, even though it doesn't make any sense because they're just, they're, um, they don't want to lose the power of being able to print. I think anybody with a, a grain of, of sense there who like, they would be like, no, who, anyone who said, no, we can't do that. It's horrible. Uh, can, can be, have a spoken, we'll have a long war conversation with that person and say, let me explain something to you. Right. Um, in our history, many, many people, I've seen technology come and say and and try to uh, deny it, try to stop it from being advanced, right? And in every single case, that has failed. Every single case, from books, electricity to cars. Now we have this thing, digital asset, which no one can see, no one can touch, no one can can uh, point a gun to and stop point a gun to somebody and stop. What makes you think that we can try and fight this thing? We can try, but the ultimate uh, case is we're going to lose. So our choices are we're going to, we're going to, um, not, we can lose, sit here and pretend that we're going to, um, win when we're not, or we can join them and try to fight them at the same time. Choice is yours. <laughs> So, so uh, yeah, it's clear, right? What they have to do, they have to, they have to join us, um, or or they'll die, right? They'll completely die, and they they know it. Some, I'm I'm sure they have a lot of smart people that realize that, um, and and have sat down J P Morgan, and uh, his uh, what's his name? Not J P Morgan, but because uh, he's dead, but uh, Jamie Dimon said, "Calm down, slow your roll." <laughs> we we got to do this. <laughs> All right. Deutsche Bank issues a stark U.S. inflation warning, seeing economic perils to the 40s and 70s. Okay. What they're referring to is that um, cer certain countries after the war, um, they went through hyperinflation, especially Japan. Um, and uh, that was brutal for a lot of those countries, right? They, they went, had high inflation and could not... and um, and it was uh, it was it was devastating to their economies. Uh, England, right, uh, pretty much, right, had rolling blackouts. And I'm sure you don't even know this, right? England had rolling blackouts. You couldn't buy candles, right, even uh, to light you to give yourself light in their house. Uh, light, matches and everything was um, sold out in the stores, and it was pretty rough. Now, what we're gonna go through? Hopefully, it's just as bad as <laughs> what England went through. But I think it's going to be worse. Honestly, it's going to be from somewhere between, I think um, uh, Zimbabwe is the worst case. And Zimbabwe being the worst case and uh, England being the best case scenario that we can get hope for, right? Either one, or somewhere in between is what we're going to get. But either uh, either end of that spectrum is pretty rough, right? Um, that's, a, that's a huge spectrum of just bad times. And so um, that's coming, and you, you don't you want to be prepared for that. And holding Bitcoin is one way to be prepared for that because, honestly, guys, right? The end of the day, right? Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay, and you need you need to listen to the people talking to JP Morgan. I mean, uh, to Jamie Dimon, and get yourself into Bitcoin. Thanks for watching. Cheers.